Up, up, up. I'm Paula Ratosa with Baby's Dog Training. I compete in agility with my Dobermans, and I'm also an AKC agility judge. I feel there's only two reasons to stop a dog on the contacts. One is because there's no other way in the world that particular dog is going to hit the contact zone. Another reason is you absolutely must be in front of your dog to manage the next sequence, and the only way you can do that is to stop the dog on the contacts. So personally, I feel most dogs' natural stride will make them touch the yellow when they're running down if you just leave them alone. Also, if you can rely on your dog to perform the A-frame independently, then you can cut to the next sequence and you do not have to manage it. And therefore, you're going to be in a good position to handle the next sequence. So I feel most dogs should not be stopped on the contact. The reason I don't stop my dog on the contacts is because Dobermans are relatively straight in the front end. They're heavy bodied for their size. And to consistently stop them coming down a slope, they're going to damage their entire front end assembly. And then they're going to have to retire before they need to. So instead, their natural stride will allow them to hit that contact. So I'm going to show you how Dash's natural stride will hit the yellow as long as I don't do anything but just run forward. So you saw how it was just her back feet that touched. That's okay. That's still a legal A-frame. One part of one foot is all that's required to touch that contact zone. So it can be a toe, it can be a toe nail. Now I'll show you from a different angle so that you can see that, yes, yeah, she's still gonna hit that yellow when I charge forward. 